What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rex Righteous, and I'm back with another rap rant. All right, so here I am to let you know what I think, what I saw from the fight, Porter versus Errol Spence, or Spence versus Porter, however you want to put it. All right. Um, so basically, I had Porter dominating the first end of the of the fight, the first part of the fight. Um, for the most part. Porter was doing a lot of good movement, and um, he was slipping a lot, which was a new version of Porter, in my opinion. Um, I feel like he was fighting off the back foot, he was moving, he was making Spence not look like Spence, or making it seem like Spence hadn't uh, been on that level before. Um, you know, just now thinking of it, it's so weird. It, it, it's it's hard to like really put it into uh, a boxing fight. But it, it you know, it sometimes you know, being that it is entertainment, no matter what, whether it's a sport or not, and it's whether it's competitive or not, it's still. A fight and it's still entertainment so sometimes it can get a little cloudy with these kind of decisions I'm not really surprised with this decision but I'm gonna tell you what I saw and then I'm gonna give you my scorecard all right um, my score is is the score that I have but I don't have the exact rounds I just know that at the end I had specific scores and then, you know, the knockdown came and then the 12th round came. So I feel like those are the key points that I want to bring up to you guys that made the decision of why I had the scorecard, the number that I had. So if you haven't seen my Instagram, you haven't seen my Facebook, I'm going to be telling you that in this video. So, boom, Porter's winning the first part of it. Uh, he hurt um, Earl Spence to the body. Uh, there was a couple of times where uh, Spence was being warned by the referee. Uh, there was a couple of times that Porter was getting low blowed by Spence. Um, Porter was doing a phenomenal job with the jab. Uh, he wasn't lunging as much. If anything, Spence was lunging. Um, and I really feel like, you know, Porter did a really good job. He stayed on him and his general the general uh the generalship looked really good. So the ring generalship looked really good. So in my opinion, the the first part of it is really hard to disagree with what I'm saying. Porter was dominant, you know? So, you know, I don't know who's going to be watching this video whether it's people that really root for Errol Spence or whatever the fuck, but to be honest with you, um, I don't see it that far apart. So I'm going to get into that. So, you know, I'm, I'm really not liking how uh, the, the, the fight was scored, but, you know, I'm going to keep going about the fight. So um, basically, uh, the fight keeps going and, and Porter kind of lets a few rounds go. Now, I expected that. But what I didn't like was that his game plan began to f slide away. And um, I saw that his movement started to change a little bit. And he started to go back to the lunging style that he did versus Keith Thurman, versus Broner, versus Garcia. Um, it's uh, his fighting style. It's the way he fights, you know. And this this is still... It's, he's still upgrading his fighting style when it comes to the lunging. I think when he fought Kell Brook, he, he, uh, he did it more in a more reckless way. And that's what got him to the, the spot that he's in now. The position that he's in now. Because I think he's still going to get more fights. Believe it or not, I think he's still going to get more fights. So, um, but when he got tired and when, when he started getting hit to the body. Because Errol Spence started catching him on the body. And um, he started being a little bit more accurate. You know, Spence started hitting him in the chest, started catching him in the throat, uh, you know, wearing him down. And I think Porter started to lose focus a little bit. 
Now, I won't say that Porter lost all of those mid rounds, but it was, you know, in between. And then it came to a point where I was like, holy shit, you know, like, you know, Spence is coming back on my card. I'm like, yo, 5'3, 5'4, you know, I'm like, whoa, you know, what is this? And then I had Porter winning, you know, the round before he, he lost the round because of a knockdown. Um, so I had a 6-4. That's, that's exactly how I had it. I had a 6-4. First it was 5-4, and I thought Spence was going to come back. I thought it was going to be 5-5. I was like, oh, snap, you know, it's going to be tied or whatever. But then Porter won. He got a 6-4 on my card. And then uh, he got the knockdown. Now, before the knockdown, I actually had Porter winning that round. So I'm, like, detailed with how I score because I always score as much as possible with the big fights um but then um you know porter lost focus when i saw the replay i'm like oh because at first it looked like a slip or something and i'm here thinking you know what the hell was that like what what was that you know because he took kind of like a knee or he just dropped to the floor and the fact that he didn't keep fighting he didn't go back at him that's what made it seem like okay he did get knocked down he did get hurt So then when the replay showed, it looked like, you know, he wasn't even telegraphing correctly when it, when he got hit, like he was trying to throw a punch and he was telegraphing way off, like his aim was way off. So he got dropped. That makes my uh, card weird now. This is six. It was six, four. Now I have it five, five, six, but it's like five and a half. So then I'm I'm screwed. So then I have to start going to the my other way of of scoring, which is the um, which is the numbers and actually jotting down each round. And then I'm here like holy shit! Like this is gonna be a really close fight, because it was already getting close. But then with that knockdown, it just made it like oh my god, here we go. So I was thinking that that same round, the eleventh round, you know, Porter was supposed to knock him down back, like he was supposed to do it back to him. He never did. He never did. He never knocked him down. He was landing some good stuff. Um, but he was starting to lose a little bit of uh, Matsi in his punch. He was no, no, no aggression. No, he wasn't, um, he wasn't landing as well as he was in the beginning. In the beginning, he was landing flush. And Spence wasn't landing flush. He was more, um, apprehensive to activity and movement he was like oh snap i gotta i gotta fight back you know spence was just like i gotta do something back so you know i don't look like i'm losing which is the same thing he did with kel uh, with uh kel brook in my opinion because i i had kel brook winning some of those rounds like most of those rounds i had him winning until you know the eye and blah 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 he got knocked down whatever but that's how i had him fighting with kel brook he was just staying in the mix which is a great way of doing things, you know, especially if you're inexperienced. Perfect. So five, five, six, Porter is what I have on my card. Um, and I knew in the 12th round, he's not going to do it. He did the same thing versus Broner. He was winning the fight. He won the fight, obviously, because Broner had no hands and he was hugging the whole fight. Then, boom, Broner goes, knocks him down, walks away like a champ, like like he knew, saw it coming, like he telegraphed the uppercut beautifully and just walked away like a boss. So when I saw that for the first time, I was like, yo, he's open. He's there. He's right there. And that's the same thing that happened with, with uh, Spence. I knew that um, he was going to uh, not knock down Spence in the last round, but I thought if he would at least win that round, just like how he'd been winning the other rounds, He'll be okay on my scorecard. So when that happened, I saw Porter win that last round. I had a 114, 113 for Porter. For Sean, Showtime, Porter. That's what I had. I don't need to replay it 100 times. Now, what I do see on the scorecard is one person resembling mine. The 115, 112, which is... uh, 112 is, uh, is five rounds... And 115 is, you know, seven rounds, uh, almost, almost, almost eight, 
but if you put the knockdown, it makes it weird, so that's that 115, 112. Um, that's more the scorecard that resembles mine. So I know that I'm not part of the other blind mice that were in that were judging the fight. And the reason why I call them blind mice is because the their scorecards are never close. And this is what I'm saying when it comes to these kind of fights. They always score them wide. They always score them weird. And then you have these turnouts where it's like, what the hell? So, you know, in my prediction, you'll see that I, I predicted that Porter would win. Um, I thought that he would have at least one more round that was more defining to what he was doing. And maybe not a knockdown. So, obviously, that would have looked a little bit more like 116-112 or 116-113. I don't know, something a little bit more wide. But, uh, you know, because that's a 10-10 round. Whatever, man. This is how I am. I'm old school, man. I don't I don't care about what, how people do it sometimes. That's how I do it, you know? Uh, but, and I meant to say man. <laughs> Sorry. I, long week, man. A lot of hype for this fight, but whatever. Um uh, so going back to the nuance wave of, of, of judging a fight, um, the 116, 111 for Spence, almost as if, uh, you know, he did nothing in the first few rounds, the first five or six rounds, you know, where I had it like almost five, one or some crap like that, or, you know, four, two or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like what happened? Like the, it shows it shows it's like baseball like you can't hide your scorecard when you have 116 111 it's like what the f you know what are you seeing you know and obviously to me like let's say that there's no knockdown but spence wins that round are you telling me that spence wins the fight there's only one one round left how are you getting 116 111 this is why people say things are a robbery now i'm not surprised with the result because I know that Spence is the guy that they're going to put the machine behind. I know that they're going to put the machine on his back. They're going to do whatever it takes to, you know, uh, put him on uh, FS1 and promote him and, you know, make him a movie star if they want. You know, who cares? Give him the shine. But when it comes down to it, I feel like Porter did a lot better boxing overall. He stayed the the storm and he won the last round which is the ultimate championship round if this was the 80s or the 90s this would have been uh a rematch and porter would have won the fight they would have had to pick and they would he would have won the fight this is not a a a, a blip where it's like oh you know he got a knockdown so now you know you know hey be careful no Porter was winning the fight, and he should get props for that because he finalized the fight. He ended the fight in a in a good way, so he shouldn't be penalized for that or punished for that. Um, so I had a friend text me. Shout out to you. I'm not gonna give out your name. You probably might watch this, but my whole thing is is that uh, he asked me, you know, what do you think about Pacquiao versus Spence? I'm like, yo. Spence needs work, bro. Like he needs work. Like his body, his body work is really good. He's really good there. But he's not a boogeyman. And um, there are some dudes in that division that I think give him some problems. Um, Crawford for sure would telegraph him better than um, Sean Porter. And he would do the inside stuff just like Sean Porter. But he would wake him up. And then show him the white light and it's over. Like Crawford would really, 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 really hurt Spence. In my opinion, I really think he would. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're talking about someone that knows the ring. And that's what Porter was looking like for a moment. Like, he was really understanding where his footwork was and everything. It was really good. He did a really good job. Like, seriously, I feel like Porter is underrated but he i think it's more because he underrates himself now we're talking about two short guys mikey garcia and sean porter what is he gonna do if he fights pacquiao what is he gonna do 
You know, that's what my friend asked me. Yo, if he fights Pacquiao, what what happens? I'm saying, yo, this, it's over for him. Anybody that's like that, around his height or a little bit shorter, they're going to telegraph him lovely. And all the body work that he does, it's going to be caught by uppercuts and movement. And it shows, like, Spence... I wouldn't say he got exposed because I feel like he learned. He learned in the fight. Like, he literally knocked down Porter. He, that was not a, a, a lucky punch. He got him. Like, he got him without him noticing. So, that is a legit knockdown. You know, if, if, if uh, Porter saw it coming and he's like, okay, you know, you got me, cool. But he, he got hurt. He didn't see it coming. And then he said, you got me. So then I'm thinking, okay, Porter's a man. He he, he came with the stuff. Uh, again, Spence with a flash knockdown. Come on, you can't, yo, you can't give him a chip for that. You can't give him a, a belt for that. But when I heard in the new WBC, that's how I knew it was over. Then you have Danny Garcia in the ring saying, um, you know, I want to fight you, which is dope because it, it has someone that, that you know, is right away, you know, I like that. Whether he fights Danny Garcia or not, I'm not a, I'm not favoring him. I actually thought that Danny Garcia beat Sean Porter, but that's another uh, discussion to have. Um, but, yeah, you know, uh, it, it doesn't matter to me. I like that Danny, Danny Garcia is there, but I don't think he deserves that fight. I think Errol Spence should be fighting Pacquiao next. Like, next, next, like, next year. Like, Earl Spence take the year off, Pacquiao take the year off, boom, January, or boom, February, or boom, uh, March. Right there. I don't want to be waiting. I don't care about Danny Garcia right now. He's old news. Put Danny Garcia in there with Ugas. You know what I'm saying? Put him in there with fucking Crawford. Or, or, give, or put Porter versus Crawford. Make that fight. But... Leave the titles for the elite. Let them rank up. Let them learn, and let them fight a legend that you know is ready already. He's not. He shouldn't be waiting anymore. I don't want to hear this. Oh, you know, Pacquiao could fight a Garcia. Well, look what just happened. He just scroll. He just strolled into that fight. Just walked in and was like, "Yo, I want next." Okay, I get that. Maybe he has a deal with Heyman, saying that you know I I probably won the Sean Porter fight. So you guys know that, so you know I deserve whatever comes, and I'll and I'll knock out whoever is the gatekeeper. Cause Danny Garcia ain't no gatekeeper, he's not, and neither is Porter. You know the division is pretty stacked. You have a lot of fighters at the 147 division, and they they keep they keep coming, they keep showing up, and they're gonna keep showing up because that division is hot. But if you ask me again, I don't have to watch it a million times. I don't. I could watch it one more time, and I'm already assuming that it'll be uh, 115, 1, 113 for uh, Porter. I had it 114, 113 for Porter, which is a half a round. And if I if I give uh, if I if I were to watch it one more time, it'd be a, a round and a half, which is super close. And the this this is why this the PBC man, I feel like sometimes they they really miss the boat on how boxing should be done. It shouldn't be back to business, back to the money. You know, you should be giving these guys another chance. There was two titles on the line, you know, and Porter did a phenomenal job. So we just scratched that out. Like, oh, who cares? Nah, man. You congratulate him. You tell him, "Yo, we're gonna give, we're gonna hook you up, man. That was that was real good work. You gave him the business. You made him look crazy. Everybody think he Spence is the boogeyman, but really, all he is 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 a young, strong fighter that telegraphs well and stays in the hunt. He went to the body. Smart, smart kid. Smart kid. I give him the respect. Much congrats to him, the new WBC and IBF welterweight champion." I think we should all be uh, looking at him as a champion. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking L's either. So my prediction was that L Spence would lose and he would he would look like a new, better version, like the truth. But 
the one thing I did get correct is that he ain't no man down. All right? He ain't no man down because he ain't dropped Porter. Porter gave him the business the whole fight. And if you're only paying attention to the knockdown, then you're not really caring about the boxing world or how history has ever shown boxing or boxers. Uh, a knockdown doesn't prove that you're uh, a knockout artist. Man down to me made me think like one time. Like when Keith Thurman was doing the one time. All it takes is one time. Same thing, you know? Where's the monster? There was no monster. The whole fight is Sean Porter. How's he the monster with two L's? And you undefeated, and you're the beast. You're the boogeyman. Nah, man. That ain't no, that ain't no man down. I, I'll give you the truth. The truth is, is a ill... Um is an ill nickname. I think that's a fire ass nickname. I I think you should stick with that nickname that that sticks with you. That that's how you roll, that's how you are. It sounds good. But the man down You might have to cut that one out, man. I don't know. I don't believe that one too much anymore. Cuz man down, knocking someone down, anybody can do that. You know, Pacquiao did that and he's 40. He did that to Keith Thurman. So uh, I'm going to call him Man Down. Manny, Man Down, Pacquiao, like, no. You know, Spence the Truth, that, that's that's a good name. All right, so Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao is a dope name, like nickname too. He keeps coming in and out. You know, whether you're a ghost or not, he's after you. But the truth, he was the truth tonight, and they gave him the... WBC, oh yeah, man. So he uh, he earned his. Uh, like I said, I'm not surprised with the results. I'm not gonna keep acting like this isn't how the PBC roll or this isn't how um, some fighters get um, decisions helped out for them. You know what I'm saying? A little push, a little leverage. Because, like I said, when it comes to the rematch stuff, they don't really promote that. It's, it's not old school with them guys. And it kind of messes up the, the landscape a little bit. And like I said, maybe there is some nuance going on. There's some nuance judging. There's some nuance uh, promoting, some management, whatever. And maybe even the fighters know this. Because obviously, you know, it takes a lot of will to, to get a knockdown in the 11th round. You got to give credit to that, you know, to Spence. But if he knows that he ha that that's all he has to do, then, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. This guy is probably going to come off like a beast to the youth, to the, to the young generation. But I still don't see him beating Crawford or Pacquiao. And if there was a, a, um, a rematch, I think that it would be a much bloodier fight between Porter and, and Spence. Much bloodier because the way Porter came in, he looked chiseled, man. He looked like he looked like he was ready. He looked confident. But uh yeah, that would be a really nasty fight if it was a rematch. But again, I don't want to digress. So let me know what you guys think. What was your scorecard? Please subscribe, like, comment, share. I'm out. Let's try to keep boxing alive, yo. Peace. And who do you think Spence should fight next? Should it be Pacquiao? Should it be Danny Garcia? Should it be any of these people? Yugas? Who? Who? Who at the welterweight division deserves this this fight? Because people been talking Canelo too, you know. And I'm pretty sure that um that's gonna be on the Twitter timeline pretty soon. It's coming. Look out for that. All right, guys. Peace out.